Howdy friends, and welcome back to Toybox Nostalgia, I'm Douglas. In this video we're going to be tearing open the absolute brand new 2023 Mattel He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Savage Henchman Beast Man. Look at that, it's cool. Listen, look at him. This is the cartoon collection, which means it is the design and colors and such are inspired by the original 1980s cartoon from Filmation. This is amazing. Just look at this. It's absolutely incredible. I can't wait to tear this open. You know I'm a huge sucker for these type of toy lines that, you know, seemingly create 3D manifestations of cartoon characters. If you're new to Toy Box Nostalgia, you'd love to see more content like this show up in your newsfeed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It truly helps out the channel. And if at the end of this video you decide that you like the content of this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up. It really helps it out. Drop a comment below letting me know what you think of the cartoon collection He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Beast-Man action figure. Thank you so much for watching my friends. I'm going to catch you after this quick break. Here we have it friends. I am so excited for this. I love these action figures. Let's just dive right in. Ready? So here, look at this packaging. This packaging is absolutely gorgeous, right? Look at that background. I absolutely love that. It's like some sort of space galaxy theme. It's got a really creepy painting of Castle Grayskull in the background. Oh, it just looks so great. It does have some gloss on it. As you see here, I'm trying to show in the camera. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, like just that logo, is glossy. I think that's the only thing on there that's glossy. It says 80s Adventures at the top with this nice little explosion. This is yellow. Maybe they did this little explosion thing, you know, due to the lack of the huge red burst that's usually in the background of Masters of the Universe. Again, this says He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, not just Masters of the Universe. Beast-Man, which is the Savage Henchman cartoon collection. This is a sticker that is on top of the bubble. Look at that. I, I love that font. This is, <laughs> oh, I just love this. I'm so excited for this. You have no idea. All right. Flipping over to the back. Look at this. We have an amazing painting up here, right? And we have, I think, I don't see any gloss at the top here. So it's just all the same type level of glossness, I guess you could call it. This is unpunched, as you see here. The card does not have a punch here, so let's just go ahead and pop that out so you see what that looks like. So now when it's on the peg, you know, just the peg just goes through in a toy store. And yeah, just look at that. That's amazing, right? Modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters of the Universe animated series. Beautiful. As you see here, we have Beast Man and he's using this what this um, elevator or whatever, um, um, levitator, I think it's called. <laughs> I forget. Anyways, he's taking the dragon eggs here. As you see, the dragon's coming back and it's really pissed and it's trying to attack, but Skeletor's trying to ward it off. So, as seen on the dragon invasion. So I'm guessing that is the episode that that cartoon, uh, I'm sorry, this painting was inspired by. All right, so we have cartoon collection here at the top. Really cool. We have a cross sale here. We do have each and every one of these to unbox right here on this channel. This one is Beastman, the Savage Henchman. And these are... The, okay, so it kind of, this one kind of tripped me up. It does kind of look like, this one especially, it does kind of look like photographs of the toys, but they're not. They're like paintings. I don't know if I can convey that, but yeah, you could tell right there. You know, look at, He-Man's hand is not open. We saw that we only get these type of hands that are shaped like this to hold weapons and such. Anyways, hover ray, that's what it's called, not levitator. So up here he's holding the hover ray, and that is picking up the dragonous eggs. Twist into powerful battle positions, right? A lot of copyright information here, says Mattel. I'll zoom in on here in case you want to pause it and read it. For some strange reason, we do have a barcode. That's weird, right? Like, what year is this? Anyways, this whole thing, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but this entire line has been coming with number one PET, which means that this bubble right here and the inside bubble are both recyclable. 100% recyclable. That is awesome. Thank you, Mattel. Let's go ahead and tear this open. I'm going to start from the bottom here. We have the action figure right here. I don't see any... Ah, we do have a band. There's a band around the rest. There's a band around here. I don't see any others, though. Ah, around the feet. Darn it. All right, let's just check another second. 
Okay, so here we have the action figure. They only took just, just a minute to get out. Uh, there was just, just a few bands in there. I did leave one of his legs in position, so I just want to show you how much taller the action figure is than what it looks like when it's inside the packaging. As you see here. So this is the, the configuration that the legs come in. So it kind of looks like it's just about this tall, but it's seriously about uh, three quarters of an inch taller if, when you stretch out the legs. So these action figures are taller. And I did get a comment on this on my previous video opening up He-Man that He-Man did not fit very well inside of any of the um, the vehicles that uh, that the person had. So these the Origins vehicles. So even though this kind of maybe the Origins line, I don't see the word Origins on here. I feel like this is just a whole new line. Um, I don't, I don't see it. Maybe the marketing stuff, like the UPC stuff and the stuff that's sent to uh, resellers and retailers, maybe that's his origins, but I don't know. This, let's just get right into it. This is going to be a taller action figure is what I'm trying to say. So let's take a look at the details. Gorgeous, right? I do have a little bit of a paint blemish right there on the beard, but I, I, I could probably actually remove that. It looks like there's some on his, this ridge line that goes down, um, vertically down his head too, right there. There's a little bit of paint from what looks like his eyebrows. But this is, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is absolutely, this whole thing is matte finish, except for his belt. You know, this, this metal belt right here is like a semi-gloss, which makes sense. But yeah, everything else I'm looking at is all matte finish and it's really soft, like it feels nice. This is an insanely light action figure. I really like this a lot. Let's move on to articulation. Whoops. So you could pop his head off by accident while trying to look up. Anyways, look up about that far, down about that far. You know, obviously you can twist side to side. You do get tilt because it's a ball joint as we saw. And this is how you remove the, um, it's not really armor. I feel like it's just like some sort of clothing actually. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is what he, his chest and torso looks like. This is the new sculpt for the this toy line. You know, it's very cartoon looking. It would look a lot better, I feel like, if I took a black Sharpie and made all the lines, you know, like how NECA does. Which I might make a separate video for that. Let's just pop this back together. Okay, let's move on to the arm. The arm goes up. And we see very, very similar um, articulation than that we did with He-Man when we opened up He-Man in a previous video. So we have swivel here and we have a hinge that goes out uh, at the shoulder and then at the elbow um, we have a hinge, a ratcheting hinge. Very nice. And that also swivels 360 degrees. Very cool. At the wrist we obviously spin 360 but we do have a hinge. And why I said obvious is because these hands uh, they come out on pegs as we see here. Cool, so this is great, right? So far, so good. The other arm is exactly the same. Ah, so I had this issue with, I know that this was absolutely my fault, but He-Man's armor has this same style of, I guess you could call it buckle. And it's like very, um, very much like the original uh, from the 1980s. That's what they were like. Um, but He-Man's just kept falling off like crazy. I don't know what the heck was going on there. So we saw that we do not have any type of ab crunch here. We do spin at the waist and the waist does come apart. So you can swap parts with this uh, action figure. And you can swap parts with not only the Origins line, as we saw in the He-Man one, but also in the Mo Masterverse line, which I'll show you in just a second. It's kind of cool. Uh, so we're going to do like a split here. And we can see the ball joints inside there. Very nice, right? Uh, his legs go out. He can't fully do a split. He could go about that far just due to the musculature of the leg and, um, you know, the loincloth being hard plastic. Yeah, that's, just, that's like hard plastic right there. Uh, anyways, <laughs> we spin at the knee, swivel at the knee, and we have a hinge, which ratchets. Kind of cool. So one, two, three. Three positions, and then at the foot... We have a hinge and thankfully we have a rocker that way we can you know stand this action figure up with the legs spread and have the feet fully planted on the ground flat which is very cool the other legs exactly the same and that's it for articulation and details 
Look at that. That's incredible, right? I don't have any other paint flaws except for a few on the face. Man, even that blue thing. Look at that blue emblem right there on his clothing. That's so cool, right? This is armor. This is a nice little spike here. This is like a rubber feeling. It's very soft plastic or rubber. Actually, feels just like rubber. The braces are part of the sculpt. As you see there, it's kind of painted on there. It does not move. Just part of the sculpt. Still kind of cool. And... The feet look like they, his shoes are definitely wrapped, as you see there, like his feet are wrapped. Very savage looking, very cool, right? And his boots don't have any, kind of like Skeletors, they don't have any like details on them, but that is it. If we take a look closely right here, we can see copyright information, 2023 Mattel. Made in Vietnam, very nice. Let's take a look at this. This is the Hover Ray. Look at that, how cool that is. There's the controls on the back there. It's one solid piece of hard plastic. And then that's where the ray comes out, or the beam, rather, from the, the ray. These are the handles that shows him how he has kind of grips on there. Really cool sculpt. I, I like all the details there. It's very neat. And then we have this whip right here. And the whip is that, you know, kind of reminiscent to the original action figure, uh, Beastman from the 1980s. You know, just the way it's shaped. Like, I remember it being shaped like this, and having the string... <laughs> so let's let's put it into a holding hand here. Yep, so to get him to hold it, so you just put it through his fingers and boom, he's holding his whip and he can whip people. Because he's pretty savage like that. Let's hold on to the hover ray here. Oops, we want to point it at him. Yeah, look at that. Very cool, right? You can get the action figure to perfectly hold the hover ray. To lift the eggs when you're stealing dragons' eggs, like you do in Monster Hunter stories. Very cool. I love this. It was very nice. I'm very happy with this action figure. Let's take a look at the comic book that comes with it. Mask of the Magi. This is the same comic book that came with He-Man, and the most powerful man in the universe. And then we have our instructions. And our instructions essentially just tell us, you know, what parts of the action figure we can take apart. So, that's it. You can take apart the head, you can take the arms off of the shoulders, you can take the hands off, and you can take the legs off. Now, as an extra added step here in this video, I want to show you this. Look at that. That's cool, right? Look at the way his wrist is bent, right? Very cool. I didn't even have to buy anything extra. Well, technically I did, but I had it on hand. On hand. <laughs> this is um, Masterverse hands on for He-Man. Let me just pull them down. You have them right, right up here on my shelf pretty much at all times. So this is the Masterverse He-Man that I took these hands from, and they just kind of fit right on there. See? And so now you can pose him, you know, with the sword way up in there. Now he doesn't hold the sword very well because this hand's bigger. Uh, but I guess, you know, now that using the Masterverse hands, let's go ahead and put the Masterverse sword in his hand right look at that now now he can hold it like way up high in the sky and say that he has the power right so i just wanted to show that this is also a masterverse hand let's take a look at the pegs together the original hand i have right here so this is the original hand that came with he-man in the masters of the universe he-man and this is a masterverse hand and you can see the pegs are really really similar so that's really cool here he is, my friends, the savage henchman. He's so savage, so spooky. No, <laughs> he's from a cartoon. Look at him. He's like, ah, I'm so happy that Mattel decided to do this cartoon style cartoon collection. He made the Masters of the Universe action figures. Again, the only criticism they have is the same as the others is, you know, a little more articulation would have been nice. You know, maybe the wrist turning a different way or maybe an app crunch or something, but Sleep Mattel did the best that they could with this style of action figure. I get it. Super bulky, right? And also, like, a little more detail, like the black lines, like NECA uses for, the sh for like, the shadows and outlines. I think that'd be an awesome touch, and I might create a remix video, a Toy Box remix video, of me doing that. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment below letting me know what you think of the Mattel, He-Man, and the Masters of the Universe, Beast Man, Savage Henchman. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. If you're new to Toy Box Nostalgia, you'd love to see content like this show up into your newsfeed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. It really helps me out. 
I hope that you enjoy the rest of your weekend, my friends. Remember, collect and shoot.